What's up guys, Vlad here and this is the Akko 5075B keyboard, one of the better stock modded keyboards if I can call it that, because it features so many good things like silicone gasket mounted polycarbonate plate that gives it that nice talky feeling when you're typing. PBT double shot keycaps, it has great Akko V3 cream switches, it is of course wireless and also has RGB. On top of it all, it has a great price, which can be further reduced if you use my code to shave off some 20%, but more on that later. Word from a sponsor and let's dive in unboxing this baby. Looking for affordable Windows or Office keys? Look no further, I got you covered. Head over to scdkey.com, pick your Windows edition, use my discount code LE25 to get a 25% on any Windows or Office products. Once you complete your order, after a few seconds you will receive your code. In Windows, go to Settings, there should be an Activate Windows prompt at the bottom, click that, enter your code and wait for Windows to finish activation. To check the activation status, use the command prompt with a command SLMGR .vbs .xpr and you should receive a notification that the machine is permanently activated. Once again, use code LE25 at scdkey.com. So this is the box, plain and simple, but inside there are a lot of goodies. First of all, the keyboard comes with a plastic dust cover, then wrapped in a soft material. This is a 75% layout, gorgeous looking 5075B plus black and silver keyboard. You can see the dongle cleverly hidden behind the keyboard since it uses 2.4 GHz wireless connectivity through the dongle, but it also can be used via Bluetooth or with included USB-C cable. You can see that it has dual angle fit, which allows you to customize the angle to your liking. There is another smaller box here, and here we have some accessories. Silicone plate dampeners, switch puller, additional keycaps for further modding, several switches, and mine came with Akko Blue V3 Pro Cream switches. These are tactile, non-clicky switches, and we have a keycap puller here, and of course the USB-C cable for wired connection. And you get some more keycaps, since mine is ISO layout, so you can further adjust it to suit your language. Akko also sent some more switches. These are the Yellow Cream V3 Pro switches. They are completely linear with 50 grams of operating force, 3.3 mm total travel distance and 2.0 mm of pre-travel distance until the press is registered. The blue switches on the other hand that it comes with are similar but with 45 grams of operating force, 3.3 mm total travel and 2.2 mm pre-travel distance. But they are tactile, which means they have a bump that you will feel when you press the key. The tactile force is around 55 grams and trust me, it is a pure pleasure to type on them. I honestly thought that I would like the yellow switches more, but turns out that I like the blue switches more since it gives the overall talkier sound in return. You will hear this later. There are some differences between ANSI and ISO layout keyboards, apart from the big enter key and several other keys, but mainly it is in the keycap profiles. You see the ANSI layout comes with ASA profile keycaps, while the ISO came with Cherry profile keycaps, which are among the best ones for typing, but of course it's a complete personal preference in the end since you can switch keycaps to your liking. This keyboard packs some of the great aftermarket mods under the hood. Mainly it has gasket mounted switch plate, but in this case the plate is not steel or aluminum, but it is polycarbonate, a flexible and softer combined with gasket mounts, makes the complete PCB and switch plate elevated or floating from the rest of the case and that gives that naturally talky sound when you type. Of course, to get a better understanding of what I'm talking about, hear it for yourself.
It has south facing switches which makes it fully compatible with every keycap on the market since there is no unwanted interference between the switch and the keycap, it's of course hot swappable and supports 5 pin switches which also makes them more stable, less wobbly so every key press is more accurate. The Aqua V3 Cream Pro switches are all 5 pin switches. Under the PCB there is another layer of silicone to further dampen the resonance of the case itself. It also has a foam between the PCB and switch plate so all the good mods are present here. The stabilizer comes with POM housing and POM plus TPU stamp to minimize rattle and pinging noise. These are Aqua proprietary stabilizers and they are meant to provide better out of the box experience. The keyboard also supports screw in stabilizers. Since it is wireless and supports both 2.4 GHz band and also Bluetooth, this means it has a battery which is 3000 mAh and depending on the usage it will last you around a week until you need to recharge it again. You can check the battery level by pressing function plus space key and the light under the space bar will tell you the level. If it is below 30% light will be red, orange if it's 30 to 50%, purple if it's from 50 to 70% and yellow light if it is from 70 to 90 percent and everything above 90 percent will be shown with a green light. This is a little bit cumbersome but it is easy to remember. Red is bad, everything else is good. There I made it easier. While connected via Bluetooth you can connect it to three different devices so you can use Profile 1 for your PC, Profile 2 for your laptop for example and Profile 3 for your phone or tablet and so on. And above all it supports Mac as well. You can use the switch on the back of the keyboard to switch to Mac or Windows layouts. The middle mode is for the Windows wired usage. You can use the function key in combination with other keys to achieve different functions. I will leave a list of commands on the screen but basically you have all the good stuff like launching file explorer, media controls and so on. And yes, finally we come to the wheel knob that it has in the top right corner. In the default state this is a regular volume knob, but if you press it you can then adjust the RGB backlight brightness. Of course it has RGB with several predefined modes, which you can change or customize to your liking like slower animation, speed, brightness and so on. It also has a subtle side RGB strips which can be a cool thing in the dark. For example, you can turn off the main RGB and just leave the sides. It looks cool at night. Of course, I will leave on the screen a list of shortcuts that you can use to control the RGB lights. The indicator lights for caps lock are cleverly hidden between the enter and home and page up and page down keys. Subtle, white, low when active. It does come with a software, it uses Aqua Cloud, which you can use to customize RGB lights, record macros, it's a basic stuff, but you do not need to use the software if you do not want to, since you can control everything directly on the keyboard. Final thoughts then, let's start with the pros first. It's an excellent keyboard for only 99.99 US dollars with my code level 20, you can reduce it for another 20%, which makes it around 79.99 in return. And for this amount of money, it's a steal. I am not advertising my code, I am simply letting you know that this is a great keyboard, both for gaming or typing. I did not notice any lagging while using it with the included dongle since it has 1000Hz polling rate only via Bluetooth but it's a limitation of the Bluetooth not the keyboard itself since it has 125Hz polling rate so gaming via wireless mode did not suffer at all but just don't use the Bluetooth mode. The ability to customize it further with another switch type is awesome, I do recommend Aqua switches, I use them in various keyboards even before Aqua reached out to me. So I know how they feel, I know how they perform. Form. Some of them do require lubing for a better feel, but these ones are mostly okay without lubing. I think that they come already lubed. I think that Akko nailed these switches with version 3. They are soft to the touch, they sound nice and above all these are relatively cheap to get and do not require additional lubing. The keyboard also has south facing switch orientation and 3 or 5 pin switch support and this makes it great for further customization. I also like that you do not need to install any additional software if you do not want to since you can use the combo keys to do everything on the keyboard itself. For the cons I can say that the overall weight of the keyboard should be more, maybe through a case upgrade like aluminum case or something similar, I mean added weight inside or something because this one comes with ABS and it's lightweight in my opinion, 880 grams to be precise. I already mentioned Bluetooth mode and the lagging but it is because of the technology every keyboard with Bluetooth will lag so do not take this as a con. 
Other than that, I would have liked if the knob here on the side could be programmed to do different stuff. But we shall see maybe with a future software upgrade this could be possible. And also, it has to be more grippy. I mean, this one is slippery somehow. <laughs> it's, it has to have some grooves so you can firmly grip it. So where do I see this keyboard fits perfectly? It's meant for gamers and productive people with a specifically tailored set of features that won't break your bank but will in return give you an awesome keyboard that is out of the box better than most Razer or Corsair keyboards that costs way too much and trust me build quality is on par with them. That's it for now guys, if you have any questions about this keyboard, maybe modding recommendation or a switch recommendation, please leave a comment, like and share the video and I'll see you in the next one.